So what is a wireframe? What is it good for? And how do you make one? All valid questions, we're gonna answer them all right now. If you don't know, a wireframe is a basic sketch of the structure of a website or app. This can be done either old school, pen and paper, or through a software such as Figma. You might be wondering, well, what is it good for? Let me ask you, have you ever been through a loop of endless revisions with your clients? Been there, done that. And needless to say, it is time consuming and life sucking. But with the help of wireframes, that nightmare can be avoided for the most part. <laughs> How do you make a wireframe? The wireframing process can get messy, especially if you are new to it. This is where Figma Kits comes into play. There are countless wireframing kits on there, but one that stands out to me and I've been loving lately, it's called Reloom Library. You can find it through the community tab or through the link in the description below. Okay, let's jump into Figma and build a landing page wireframe with Reloom to see how easy and painless it is to use it. Okay, so once you have copied the kit library in Figma, you will be prompted to this page, the documentation page. You can read through, it's pretty interesting, as well as their style guide and change logs. Bear in mind that they do update this library quite often and kudos to them for that and for giving this for free. Okay, let's go through the components. In order to access the components, we are going to go to assets. So you will see here that they are a lot of components. There are a lot of components as well as full on pages. And I find that absolutely amazing because you have so many choices. At least, for example, an about page, full on about page. They have five options for us. So let's let's bring one out here and let's see. Absolutely amazing pricing page. Again, five pages. Absolutely amazing. I love this. Look at the look at the quality of this wireframe. It's absolutely amazing. And okay, now that we've seen a few things, let's create a page and build our landing page. So let's call it landing page, of course. I can type today. Okay, so we created our page. Let's put it at the top. So we have a client brief, which I'm going to bring up here. So the client wants these features to be on the landing page. We are going to simply search for each component individually. We're going to start again with a navbar, of course, with a navbar. And I am going to choose navbar one. And as you can see, it's pretty basic, but it does the job. The client will know the structure of the navbar once they see this if they don't like it they at the moment change so if you want to go through the component to see which navbar suits your need you can actually access them through here and simply click through each navbar component let me just move myself this way and just click and you can see that they change and you can keep the one that suits your needs of course as i said earlier and i think I will stick with number one and I'm going to be looking for a hero section. Okay, the client didn't say what kind of hero section he would want, but I think I'm going to just go classic, two buttons, image and heading and some text. And as you can see, it's very simple. Okay, next we are going to look for the logo carousel. Let's bring it in here going with the classic and what else do we have on the list let's look for testimonials and again i think i'm gonna go actually this time with a video testimonial because these are more impactful and in my opinion more interesting but we will see what the client says right because this is keep in mind just a draft for the client to give us the go ahead with the actual design okay we have the testimonial done let's go look for an faq section and i'm going to go with a classic faq this is looking so good and so clean i am absolutely impressed every single time i use it and what else we have left the footer and i think i'm gonna go with a minimal footer because there's not much we have to put in the footer just some basic information and there you go how long it took me i have no idea but we are done with the first page and look how clean it looks absolutely amazing guys this is just a game changer in my opinion this way you can also learn how to build your own wireframes by just 
studying how they design them it's so useful in so many ways but if you just want to drag and drop components on the board all good and now you're ready to share it with your client if you're new to figma check out this video here where i show you five figma plugins to use for your design and i'll see you there